If you want to know how you can save multiple pieces of data in Greenwich DB on Roblox, make sure to watch this video all the way to the end to find out how to. Hey guys, and welcome back to this brand new video on my YouTube channel called Newbie. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can save multiple pieces of data in Greenwich DB. And we'll be doing this by making a list and we'll be saving that on Greenwich. So a list is like multiple variables in one. So I'll get to that later in the tutorial. Um, I'll be yeah, I'll be explaining what a list is in the rest of the tutorial. So just stay tuned and uh, yep. You might be wondering uh, right now, what is Greenwich? Well, Greenwich is a studio on Roblox made by Salvage and me. And we, we just make cool stuff. And Salvage will be up on the screen right now, and I'll put up all of his links in the description. Um, if you don't know what Greenwich DB is or how to use it, I recommend you watching these two videos. Um, they, they just explain how it works and the technical side and all of that stuff. And Greenwich made this Greenwich database, so uh, short enough, it's Greenwich DB. Uh, and that is our database wrapper, which makes Roblox data storing really fast organized and also simple so it is fast organized and simple that is a three and one that is really cool and Greenwich DB is also lightning fast for example if you load in your data should be instantaneously almost be loaded in and Roblox data stores take a long time to do that but Greenwich is almost uh, instantaneous so that is really cool and we are here for fast stuff because yes so now um, as I said in the beginning I'll be showing you how to make uh, or how to save multiple pieces of data uh, really simple so that's what we're going to be doing today in this tutorial and I hope you enjoy this video like the video do whatever you want and um, let's go so before we start you need to have a module script in server storage called Greenwich so add in a module script in server storage and rename it to Greenwich just like that so and, uh, we're not going to be writing all of this out because that will be taking a million years so what we're going to be doing, you want to go to the link in the description, and you just want to click copy on here, boom, and this is Greenwich, but that's not important right now. Uh, all you want is Control A, Control V. And now you have it in your game, so now you just want to click this away. You can just safely click it away. And now all you need is one script in server script service. So you want to click script, and I'll just be re renaming it to game, because... I'm not going to be doing anything special in this game. Uh, I'll just be showing you how to make or how to, how you save multiple pieces of data. Because Roblox and Greenwich, well, Greenwich allows you to do it multiple, but Roblox just doesn't really pick that up. So that's why we are making a list today and making it simplified. So let's continue on. First of all, we need the players service by saying local players. As it's the game, call on get service. And we need the players. So local players is equal to game colon get service players. And what this does is we'll be trying to get the players service. Now we need local server storage. And as I said on the player side, you just we're gonna be try and requesting the player service by saying local server storage is equal to game colon get service server storage. And my Siri just activated. That is not funny. Uh, local Greenwich. So now we'll be trying to receive this or retrieve or whatever it is. So local Greenwich is to uh, require because it has to be there. Server storage colon wait for child Greenwich. So what we're doing here, we're requiring in server storage the module script called Greenwich. And that is um, good. So now we can do the basics. Um, but as I said, we're going to be making a list now. You might be wondering, newbie, what is a list? So as I said, it is like uh, multiple data in one or something. So let's just type it out. Local function, save data, player. But this is not the list yet. So we're going to be doing local leader stats. Is it the player? That leader stats. I'll be doing a, a like, like XP or a money variable this tutorial just so you can see it. So now this is the list, local values, 
is equal to, and then you want to do this curved bracket. And I always thought it was a table, but salvage teach me it's actually a list because the table is something way else. It is a list. So what we're going to be doing in this list, our values are going to be leader stats, the money, the value, and then you want to do a semicolon, leader stats, and I'm just going to do experience, the value, and another semicolon. So this is your list, and you can, I don't know, if you want, you could do a quintillion amount of data, but just, this is going to be the tutorial, um, for money and experience values. Over here, we're gonna be doing a pcal function. Um, so in case it breaks, we're not going to be like breaking the entire game. Because if you break your entire game, that's not funny. So what we're doing, Greenwich, colon get db values. We're gonna be saving everything on this key called values. And then we're gonna be set, we're gonna be setting it, colon set player player that user ID we're going to be saving everything on your unique user ID which you get when creating your account and it is not changeable we're going to be doing on a player user ID we're going to be saving our values and we are going to do false for the cash uh, thingy if you want to know what it is just go to the just go to the video in the description just go click that so that is um, good so setting uh, just adds it to the uh, queue and the cache system, and then if you do colon save, it's actually going to like run that cache system or queue system, and then um, like save it actually to the Roblox data stores. So this is the list, and if you want, you can do like something else. So if you, for example, if you have another folder called whatever it is backpack, you can do comma player dot backpack. For for example, just this. But that's not what the tutorial is about. So now we can do, we're, we're, we're going to be checking if our player has been added. So players.player added, colon connect function, player. And we're just, once the player joins, we're just giving them the player tag. But you can also do just xx or something, whatever you want. But I'm going to do player. So now I'm going to be doing local data. We're going to be doing an empty value. So... We're going to be changing that. PCAL. Oh, why are you so annoying? Oh, man. Local data. And we're going to be doing PCAL function. So in case it breaks, nothing is going to happen. Data is equals to. So over here, we're going to be changing our data variable. Greenwich, colon, get DB values. We're going to be requesting everything from the values key. And we're going to be getting that on your user ID. So we're getting it, and from we're getting it from the values, and we're also getting it from your player. Look, this is the key. This is the unique I key. Uh, key. Uh, Siri just activated again. Alrighty. So now we can do local. We're going to be creating the actual leader stats now by saying local leader stats is because the instance dot new folder because it's a folder leader stats dot parent is equals to player and leader stats dot name is equals to leader stats and I might be a little bit fast now so over here you can see the entire piece of code so over here make sure it is not a capitalized L make sure it's not because a lot of people make it like this but then it won't work make sure it's a lowercase L got it alrighty that is really good of you. So now we're going to be creating the actual value. So local money is equal to instance that new number value because money is only a number. You cannot have like, I don't know, like whatever a word, I don't know. You cannot have a word amount of money. You only have a number amount. So now money and we're going to be doing money that parents is equal to leader stats. So the money is actually on your leader stats. And let me just do this. Yep. Uh, money dot. Uh, what is it? Money dot name. Because money needs to have a name. We're gonna be doing money. But now we didn't. Set, you might be wondering, newbie. We did not set any values. What did you do? I'll be explaining that. So we're gonna be checking if there's data. So if data. 
and data and then like those brick or I don't know how they're called those brick uh, colon no it's not a colon a bracket or something uh, so if data and data one then so we might be wondering newbie what are you doing over here we're checking if you have any data which should be this and then the data one means this so actually this is one and this is two and if you add more values like blah 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 it is going to be that it's going to be three this would be four and it goes all the way down so this is one and this is two so if you have data and you have a money data then money dot value is equal to data one and not just data because data is everything this is your data and the one means uh, like one this is the first one so that's going to be leader stats stop money that value so the value of money is one well is uh the, the one thingy and if you don't have that else we're just going to set your money to zero because you do not have anything now you want to copy all of this control c and you want to paste that again and over here um as i said we have two values so i'm going to be doing local experience and i'm just going to be um like i'm going to be copy pasting that on everything so experience and experience and make sure to change this to two because this is the experience value and th that is number two so make sure that is two now what we're going to be doing one last thingy well all, we're almost done what we're going to be doing is check if anything changed and we'll just be saving that so player dot leader stats dot money dot value oh wait nope player dot leader stats dot money colon get property changed signal and then we're going to be doing value colon connect function and what we're doing um we're checking if anything on the money value is has been changed and if anything has been changed we're going to be doing save data player so we're just going to be saving it we're going to be saving your current values and we're going to be setting that to the cache and the queue system and they will run it to roblox data stores so now you want to copy this and all you want to change is change the money to experience because um, with experience i mean like the amount of xp for like a level or something so yeah so now all we have to do is six more lines because greenwich is this simplified all you have to do is just this is how you get data and this is how you set it to a queue system it is really simple so now all you want to do is players the player removing we're going to be checking if someone is leaving the game and we're going to be giving that a player um like a player variable so we're going to be doing greenwich colon get db everything is saved on the values key so we have to add more to the values key colon save because save mean because uh save means that we will be actually saving it immediately so colon save and we're going to be saving it on your user id now one more check game colon bind to close function and what this does if you shut down your game it's going to say like the developer shut down this game reconnect or something whatever it is and over here we're checking if your server is being shut down and if that's the case we will be running a um a function called greenwich colon end queue and what it is it is immediately going to stop saving anything or, or like if someone money's value has changed nothing is going to really happen it is just going to immediately run that queue and just save everything so and the server will shut down after everything has been saved and that is really cool. So let's get this system in demonstration mode. <clears throat> but first of all, you want to go to game settings. I need to publish my game. Let me just do that really quickly. Alrighty, so I just saved my game. Okay. Game settings, security, and just make sure this one is enabled. The rest doesn't really matter because we did not use anything else. So as I said, let's get this system into demonstration mode. And we'll be doing that by joining the actual game because Roblox data stores usually just work in 
the actual game. So let's do that right now. So right now I'm loading in my game. As you can see, uh, yep, I should be already in. Alrighty, so what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be giving myself some money and some XP. By doing game.players.newbie.derpydev, username, that leader stats, the money dot value. Let me just give myself 50,000 cash. And now we will also be giving myself some experience. Experience that value is x2. Let's just do a thousand. Yep, that worked. So now let's leave the game. And now we are rejoining and we should have immediately all of our data back. So you can see it once we rejoin. As you can see, 50,000 money and 1,000 XP. And as you saw, or see or saw, whatever it is, we did not load in yet, but we already had all of our values. So we joined and when the loading screen disappeared, we immediately had all of our data on our account. And that is what that is what Greenwich is. It's all about speed and lightning fast. So that is really cool. So I want to thank you for watching. This is the tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up because why not make it a blue? Make the subscribe button gray, which means you are subscribed to my channel. And turn on the notification bell to just watch every video or get a notification whenever I upload a video. So yeah, thank you for watching. All I can say is that my name is Newbie, and I say peace out.